This is the first video in a series that will outline every step for upgrading your Helium Miner setup. Mine will be going from this, here in my first story window with the standard antenna, to the chimney on top of my roof with an upgraded 5.8 dBi rack antenna. After ordering the wrong items numerous times and changing the entire setup at the last minute, I have finally got all the planning done and hardware I need. I have certainly learned from my mistakes and hope you will too. I will outline my plans and everything I am using through the series. Today's video will be dedicated to the macro setup, how my setup has changed since I started planning, and for what reasons exactly. I am excited to get it fully functional and report what sort of earnings increase I see from the new setup. Let's take a look in today's video. <music> Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel. Thank you all so much for being here. I hope you are having a great day. Please make sure to hit that like and subscribe on the way in. In today's video, as I mentioned in the intro, it is the first video of a series where I will outline step by step every single little thing I purchased and my entire plan for setting up and upgrading my Helium Miner antenna. We'll take a look at what I would consider a good upgrade, a better upgrade, and the best upgrade. In my journey of upgrading this antenna, I went from the better upgrade choice to the best upgrade choice, in my opinion. We will go through every single thing and what that means in today's video. Before we jump into all of that, I do want to remind you that tomorrow is a minted helium miner drop for the EU, Canada, and the US. The exact and corrected times are on the screen, EU 10 a.m. CET, Canada 11 a.m. Eastern Time, US 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Mark your calendars, make sure to be on time as these are likely to go extremely fast. Hopefully Minted is able to battle the bots a little better than last time as I myself was experiencing the same thing with the reload queue, constantly clicking the checkout button every 10 seconds. Hopefully there is none of that and they are able to do a better job at keeping those bots away. Now let's get into what I mean by good, better, and best. By good antenna upgrade, I mean something like this. It would be something like an antenna clip that is still inside. You use these clips to secure the antenna to a window inside. This is a very easy way to upgrade your antenna as you do not have to go outside. You do not have to drill any holes. There is nothing like that. There's very little hardware you need. It's really just these clips. A short jumper cable I'll, that I'll put on the screen that I just received with my Rack 5.8 DBI antenna. And that's really all you would need to get this set up in your house. And you would have the upgraded 5.8 DBI antenna. However, you will not have a very good uh, increased height or or increased line of sight, you will only have the increased DBI strength antenna. Now this is the data sheet here on the Rack Wireless website. It just shows you the dimensions. This is really just like a broomstick, a broomstick clip really that the antenna hugs or that hugs the antenna and it sticks onto your window. That would be a decent upgrade, a very, very inexpensive, very non-labor intensive upgrade that anyone really can do. And it could be in the same room wherever your miner is right now. Now for the better minor antenna upgrade, it would be what people usually think of when they think of an antenna upgrade, and it, it is what I for originally planned to do with my antenna upgrade. I was going to buy one of these, which I already did purchase, the 5.8 dBi antenna, and I was gonna run a coaxial cable similar to this one, which I purchased, that I'll also put on the screen here, and I was going to run it out of the room that my miner is in. I was gonna run the coaxial cable around the structure up to the top of the structure, and I was going to mount it on the side of the building with the mount that I bought from Rack Wireless as well, which I will also put on the screen. And you can also see it here on the Rack website. This was the mount that I purchased that I'm still gonna be able to use even though I changed my setup. But originally, that is what I was gonna do. I was going to run this coaxial cable all the way around the building and up the building and then I would be able to mount my antenna on that mounting pole with this coaxial cable connected with my lightning arrestor and so forth. Now that is a very, that is a much better setup than keeping it indoors and upgrading it, of course, because you are increasing the height and the line of sight, which are the two most important things when upgrading your antenna. Now, I decided to change that setup after seeing a few uh, conversation in the Discord that really sparked my interest, and I decided to take a look at what kind 
kind of impact that long of a coaxial cable would have on my miner. I would have needed approximately 50 to 60 feet of it. So I went over here to this website, which somebody, uh, Hockey Cannon, posted in the Discord. Shout out to him. He was very helpful or her, very helpful in the Discord. I really appreciated all the information that he had in there that he was replying to other people. And this was the website he was using, which really gave some specific interesting numbers around how long of a cable and what type of cable you're using and the type of loss that you would experience. Somebody in the Discord was using an RG58 cable, which is not the one that I purchased, but this, for the sake of this exercise, we'll start with what that person was using. They were using RG58 and at a run length of 30 feet. And when you run that calculation, you can see the cable run efficiency is only 36.5%. So you're losing almost two thirds of the power to that antenna using that setup. Now, my question was, I was using an LMR 400. So if we go down here and we select LMR 400, and let's, for the sake of this, we'll use 30 feet. I was more like 50 feet, but let's calculate it. And you can see the LMR 400 is clearly a more efficient cable as you are getting 76.2% of the power to that antenna. However, my thought process was if I'm going through all this trouble, drilling these holes, uh, mounting an antenna at the top of this building, I don't want to be losing approximately 25% of the power to that antenna. Yes, it is a 5.8 upgraded DBI antenna, and the DBI doesn't really change. It's only the power that is, this efficiency is really just the power. The DBI and the angle of the of the signal will remain the same, will remain the same as any other 5.8 DBI antenna. However, with the reduced power, it will not reach as far. And I wasn't willing to really take that risk. As you can see here, 76.2% uh, was only making it to my antenna this way. And to be honest, I really do have more like a 50 foot cable. So only 63.6% .6 after all of that trouble, only 63.6% .6 of the power was going to end up making it to the antenna. And I decided to go a different route. And that route would be what I would consider the best upgrade or the best path to take to upgrading your antenna. What I have decided to do now is actually, rather than keeping the miner that I have in the room it's in, I am actually going to take the miner and move it to the attic. Now this does require a lot more work because I currently don't have any power to the attic, but I'm willing to do that because now I'm able to get the miner extremely, extremely close to where the miner is going to be placed, which is on the side of that brick chimney that you see here. What I'm gonna do is now, rather than running a coaxial wire all the way up the side of the building, I am now going to run this ethernet cable from my router in this room where the miner is, and I'm going to run it out of the building all the way up into the attic, and I'm gonna move the miner now into the attic where I will now have an ethernet cord and a power supply. This will make it so that the coaxial cable that I need is going to be extremely short, maybe only five feet. And if we go back here and we run the LMR 400 at five feet of length rather than the other one, we can see that I now will have 95.6% of my antenna strength reaching the antenna. Now, of course, there is a little bit more to consider as I do have to get electricity up there, but if you have electricity easily accessible in the attic, it is a no-brainer to actually move the miner all the way up there rather than run the coaxial cable so that you have the same amount of strength in your antenna as you would if it is right on the miner itself. And that is what I would consider the best way to upgrade your antenna is to actually get that miner as close to the antenna as high as possible. Of course, it's great to get the antenna all the way up there and have a clear line of sight. However, if you're running such long coaxial cable, you are going to lose significant power, as you can see by this example here. We'll go back and just show it again. If I was running the 50 feet like I was going to, I had a, only 63% of the power reaching my antenna. Guys, I'm gonna go through everything, all of the different little pieces of hardware, all the connections, everything in the videos to come in this series. I'm very excited. I haven't gotten any of it really up yet. I've just been in the planning and hardware collecting process. In fact, as I mentioned in the intro, I've actually ordered two lightning arresters because the first one I purchased was actually a male and a female. I needed a lightning arrester with female on both sides. So I do have two of those now. And I am also, now that my plans have changed, I am returning the coaxial cable. I would like to, I'm not gonna bother returning this 
the second lightning arrestor, the male female one. So if somebody is looking to upgrade their antenna and is going to need a male to female lightning arrestor, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get that to you. However, a lot more updates to come. There is a lot more involved in this kind of stuff than I have originally thought. A lot of people on YouTube make it look easy because they are very uh, hands-on or hardware oriented or, or technical with regards to really putting that stuff together. I myself am not. So it was a little bit more of a learning curve for me, ordered a bunch of wrong things, but hopefully you guys can learn from those mistakes. And of course, I'm happy to keep you guys fully updated on every single step of the way and every little piece you will need to make it as easy as possible. Of course, we are gonna be correctly grounding the miner. Of course, we are gonna be correctly grounding the antenna as well as waterproofing it and protecting it from UV radiation. All of that stuff is to come in future videos. So guys, please let me know if there's any little tidbits you'd like me to touch on, but I hope you guys found this information helpful. Let me know any of your questions down below. I'm happy to try and get to all of them. And of course, there'll be links to all of the different things that I've purchased in the descriptions below. Just to remind you again, minted dropping tomorrow. Do not forget, don't miss out. Try and get that miner and get it as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching until the end. Please like and subscribe if you have not already, but just like that, this video is over and I will see you next time.